Hi, I am Roz Jones, and today we're going to talk about what are the, some of the signs that you have hired the wrong caregiver. Hi, once again, I'm Roz Jones, the CEO and owner of Jacksonville's Best Caregivers, where we provide four levels of specialized service to your loved ones, sitter, homemaking companion, home health aide, and certified nursing assistant. When you can't do it all, you give us a call. So today we are talking about what are some of the signs that you have hired the wrong caregiver. Of course, hiring a caregiver to do personal tasks and everything for your parents preserves the relationship between you and your parents. So this is important to have that kind of, you know, middle person to be able to do everything. Finding the right caregiver uh, is, is, is already hard because you have to go through the interviewing process, background checks, you know, make sure they take their COVID test. You have to go through all that. And despite doing all that and the interview goes well, there could not be a, a harder situation that you have to face sometimes to, than to say, I may have hired the wrong caregiver. And there's nothing on your part, it's just sometimes it may not be a good fit. Okay, so how do you recognize that you have hired the wrong caregiver? Number one, personality conflicts. And when I say personality conflicts, sometimes when you have personality conflicts, this person may not be used to having someone else in the home. They may not be used to having them you know, clean differently than the way they clean, cook different than the way they cook, iron, fold, take out the trash, whatever. So there could be, you know, personality conflicts. And so when there's a, a personality conflict, sometimes the, the uh, loved one will feel uncomfortable. And you have to find out, is it they're feeling uncomfortable or is it just the fact that they're not used to having someone in the house? So the first thing is, is that uh, there's a personality conflict and you need to really monitor it for maybe a week or two, a couple of weeks, just to see if it will kind of level out or if it's continuing. If it's continuing, then you need to talk to the caregiver and say, well, maybe this may not be working out. So that's number one. The second sign um, that may come up to help you realize that you may have hired the wrong caregiver is that you give them a list of things to do and they're not getting done, they're not following your instructions. So to give that caregiver an opportunity to correct those bad habits or not following instructions, you make a task list. And when you make a task list, and if they still aren't following that task list, say for you know another week or two, then also too, that's a that's a warning sign that they are that they are not good at following your instructions and that they are not going to do what you're asking. They're coming there more just to sit and to do what they want to do versus what you have asked them to do. So that's another warning sign that they um, are are not a good fit. It's because they are not following the instruction that you have left to take care of your parent. So sign number three that you may have hired. The wrong caregiver is that when you see your mom and dad or your aunt and uncle, whoever your loved one is, when you see them not sitting in places that they normally sit. Say for instance, if you know that your mom watches TV, you know, between six and eight, but she's sitting in her bedroom between six and eight. If you know in the morning that she eats her breakfast at the table between eight and nine, but now she's eating breakfast in her room. Um, she's not taking her showers like she's supposed to. Routines are off. Or they're, you know, staying in the bedroom a lot. This is called hiding. This is because, again, it comes back to sometimes personality conflicts. It comes back to um, maybe they're not comfortable with the person. So you have to kind of see what the hiding is about. Is it because, the, you know, the person may not be doing the task, may be talking down to them, may, you know, maybe making them feel like, you know, uh, not respecting them. What is the reason for them hiding in the uh, bedroom? Is it because uh, the caregiver wants to watch a television show that they don't want to watch? or you know something like that. So it, it could be a multitude of things or the caregiver could not be paying attention, making them really feel uncomfortable in their own home. So if you see them not, you know, a behavioral change, they're not in their pattern, something is wrong. 
So that's sign number three. And the, uh, the fourth sign. Now these signs are just um, signs that I have recognized so far as, you know, warning signs for, for when you're hiring, when you have hired the wrong caregiver. These are just my four suggestions that I have picked up over the years when you need to recognize that you have hired the wrong caregiver. So the last one, number four, is when there's constant complaining. Now you have to monitor this really, really close. And the reason why I say you have to monitor this is because sometimes your loved one will complain about the caregiver is because they want you there versus the caregiver. So that's their subliminal way of making you feel guilty, right? And then the other reason why they could be complaining, like I stated earlier, is because someone is in their house that they're not familiar with. Or someone, you know, the caregiver, this someone could be, you know, cleaning different or, you know, doing things that, that in a different way that they're not used to doing. So you have to monitor that because, like I said, it could be just a way to get, make you feel guilty and, you know, make you come in, or it's actually a legitimate complaint that, you know, they're not cleaning, they're sleeping, they're on the phone, they're constantly watching TV, they're on their computer, so on and so forth. So these are things that you have to monitor uh, each one of these, you know, situations that I have given you so far as what, you know, how to recognize that you have hired the wrong caregiver. So let's recap. You ready? So what are the signs that you have hired the wrong caregiver? Number one, personality conflicts. Number two, things aren't getting done. Number three, your parent is hiding in their room. And then number four, constant complaining. These are just the four that I suggest. It could be others. If they are, please let us know in the comments. But always remember to monitor this before you get rid of the caregiver because sometimes your parent could be doing this so that you will come in and take care of them and so you know uh and, and and they don't want the caregiver there and then sometimes the parents are doing this because they don't want don't want to spend the money or they don't want someone in their house again so like i said you have to look at it on both sides and you have to monitor it okay once again, my name is Ross Jones. I'm the CEO and owner of Jacksonville Spence Caregivers, where we provide four levels of specialized care to your loved one, sitter, homemaking companion, home health aide, and certified nursing assistant. When you can't do it all, you give us a call. If you need to ask me more questions about hiring a caregiver, please feel free down here in the subscription. Uh, get on my calendar at bit.ly forward slash speak with Roz and make an appointment with me under free assessment and it allows you for a 30 second, oh, 30 second, a 30 minute uh, consultation to talk with me about things like this before hiring a caregiver. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you can continue to get this great information on how to be a caregiver. And also too, if you need anything else, let us know in the comments or get on my calendar. We'll see you next time. Bye.